Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nibs home school this is mohammad imdadul haq assistant teacher of mathematics national ideal english version school day shift dear students today i am going to take a math class of class nursery our today's topic is ring the smallest number part 1 in this part i will solve five questions okay dear students now see the question our today's topic is ring the smallest number five questions given here 1 2 3 4 5 in each question here are three numbers given 1 2 3 three numbers given we have to find the smallest number among these three numbers among these three numbers we have to find the smallest number which one is the smallest we have to circle that one okay dear students to do this we have to compare these three numbers to compare the numbers at first indicate the position of the digit this is one's place this is tens place this is one's place this is tens place this is one's place and this is tens place dear students notice that tens place is five tens place is five tens place is five it means that in all the numbers tens place is same when the tens place will be same you need to remember that you have to compare only one's place you have to compare only one's place now see the one's place here one's place is three here one's place is nine here one's place is one so we have to compare these three numbers three nine and one we can compare at first these two it means 3 and 9 at first we will compare these two which number will be the smallest that number containing number will be the smallest number so we have to compare these two at first to compare these two we have to notice that 3 means suppose 3 sticks and 9 means suppose 9 sticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here are 9 sticks, here are 3 sticks. So, we can take 3 from 9, 1, 2, 3. So, 6 sticks remaining here, it means that 9 is more than 3, it means 9 is larger than 3. So, 3, so we can say 3 is the smallest number. So, as 3 is the smallest, this one is smallest, it means 3 is smallest. As 3 is the smallest, between these two number 53 is smallest 53 is smallest now we have to compare so we can say this number is not smallest number now we have to compare 53 and 51 53 and 51 to compare 53 and 51 here also tens place are same in both the numbers tens place is 5 so we have to compare only one's place 3 and 1 the students 3 means suppose 3 sticks and 1 means 1 stick 1 means 1 stick now we can compare as here at 3 sticks here 1 so we can take 1 here now 2 sticks left here it means that 3 is larger than 1 3 is larger than 1 so we can say 3 is larger than 1 it means that 1 is the smallest number it means that the number containing 1 in one's place is the smallest number among these three numbers so we can circle 51 so we can circle 51 51 is the smallest number among these three numbers among these three numbers now we'll go to the second question second what is the second question three numbers given 72 78 75 so we have to compare to compare we can write again once tens once tens once tens the students now notice that tens place is always same in this case also tens place is same so we have to compare only once place 2 8 and 5 so at first we have to compare 2 and 8 2 means 2 sticks 2 means 2 sticks 8 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 sticks now we can take 2 if we take 2 here 
more than two sticks we are observing here notice that more than six sticks six sticks more here so we can say two is smaller than eight two is smaller than eight so we can say seven to two is smaller than 78 now we have to compare this 72 with 75 this number with this number so we have to observe that here tens place is also same so we have to compare only ones place here ones place is 2 2 means 2 sticks and here is 5 ones place is 5 so 5 sticks here 1 2 3 4 5 so if we compare we can cut this 2 from this 5 here 3 left as 3 left so 5 is larger 2 is smaller so we can say 72 is the smallest number so we can circle 72 the students now go to the next question question 3 <coughs> 96, 93 and 99 we have to compare these three numbers and we have to find out the smallest one to compare these three we have to at first write ones, tens, ones, tens, ones, tens ok dear students now see 9 is in ones, tens place, 9 is in tens place, 9 is in tens place, place. it means that tens place is always same so we have to compare only one's place so we have to compare 6 and 3 6 and 3 we have to compare now to compare these two 6 means 6 ticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 ticks here and here are 3 ticks 1 2 3 now if we take 3 with from 6 3 ticks more here so we can say 6 is larger than 3 so 3 is the smallest between these two so now we have to compare these two now to compare these two we have to consider tens place is same so we have to consider ones place ones place is 9 here 9 means we can consider 9 sticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay dear students take 3 sticks 1 2 3 here 6 ticks more it means that this is larger than 9 is larger than 3 it means 3 is smaller than 9 so come if we compare this to 93 is the smallest so comparing this 3 we can say 93 will be the smallest number so we can circle 93 we can give circle in 93 okay dear students now next numbers three numbers given here so at first take one stains one stains one stains here is also tens place is six in all the numbers so tens place is same so we have to compare one's place eight means we can consider eight sticks one two three four five six seven eight now one two at first compare these two we can take this two if we take six ticks more here so we can say 68 is larger than 62 it means 62 is the smallest number between these two then we have to compare as 62 is smallest so we have to compare 62 with 67 as one, 7 is in one's place so we, we can give 7 sticks here we can show 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now as here are two sticks so we can take two if take two we will get five sticks remaining here it means that seven seven is larger than two it means two is smaller than seven so number containing two 62 that is the smallest number among these three numbers so we can circle this number now the last question question five three numbers given here we have to compare these three ones tens ones tens ones tens the students for this question also notice that tens place is always same tens place is always same so we can compare ones place so we need to compare ones place ones place is two two means we can consider two sticks here five means we can consider five sticks four five 
Now take 2 from 5, 3 takes left, it means that 85 is larger than 82. So, 82 is the smallest, 82 is the smallest between these two. Now, we have to compare with 88, here one's place is 8. So, we have to consider 8 sticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, take 2, if we take 2, 6 sticks more here. So, we can say 8 is larger than 2, it means 2 is smaller than 8. So, the number containing 2, the number containing 2 is the smallest number. So, we can say 82 is the smallest number and we can use the circle. Dear students, so I will say that at to compare a, to compare some numbers at first you have to indicate the position of the digits of the number. If the tens place is always same, then you have to compare the ones place. In every case, see the question in every case, tens place is same. If tens place is same, then you have to compare only ones place. Comparing ones place, which digit or which number will be the smallest, con uh, that digit containing number will be the smallest number. The students, you have to remember this. Okay, dear students, do this as your homework. This is your homework 12. That's all for today. Submit your homework on next Sunday. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. Stay home. Stay safe. See you again. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.